Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is Thinking in Energy, Level 3 Energy and Energy Transfer. When you're investigating energy, the first thing you want to do is define the system. But in this video, we're going to talk about energy and what energy actually is. Um, energy, a good definition, is anything that has the ability or capability to cause change. And lots of times in science, we look at the change and then we try to figure out what energy is actually causing that change. And so the object that represents represents energy is going to contrast with the object that represents matter. Matter will always be this black cube. It just sits there. It's not going to do anything. It's never going to change unless energy acts on that. And that's why this red ball is going to represent that change or better that energy that's causing that change. And so in this video, after we define what energy is, we're going to look at how energy can be transferred. So how it can be transferred from object to object or place to place. After watching this video, you should be able to identify energy and energy transfer in an object like this hand cranked radio light or in this tea kettle that's making this pinwheel move. I'm going to start by showing you my thinking as we look at energy and energy transfer in a Stirling engine and then we'll look at uh, the rubbing of uh, sand blocks together uh, and we'll kind of show our thinking around energy there. And so first of all let me clean this up. So for this first example, we're going to use a Stirling engine. This is a more detailed picture of a Stirling engine. It's got uh, a fuel source, so it's got some alcohol over here in a burner. Um, we've got these moving parts, a little motor, and then there's a little light down here at the bottom. So first of all, let's define what the system is going to be. So in this case, the system is going to be the Stirling engine itself, this engine that's right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start warming it up. So let me light this. But as the engine is warming up so we can get it moving, what I'm going to start writing down are different types of energy, just simple types of energy when you're starting to learn energy. I'll just write these out on these little blocks. Okay, so the types of energy that I've written, you can notice that I'm not writing things like potential or kinetic energy. I'm just writing energy that we could see in a typical object. So I wrote motion, electricity, light, sound, and heat. And so the reason I wrote them on the blocks is we can start to think of those as just like units of energy. I colored them red because the red is going to be just a representation of energy or energy that makes change. And so I like to just write these and so as we're looking at a phenomena we can start adding these almost like currency to the, to the model. So let me see if this is willing to start. Okay, now we can see that the Stirling engine is running. You can see that there's a light going over here. There's motion in this part. It's maybe hard for you to see, but there's a little motor down here. And then there's a little light that's flickering down here at the bottom, a little LED. And so what I'm going to do is blow the light out. And then let's try to look at energy and energy transfer in the Stirling engine. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just write down what did I see changing? What were the events that were really taking place? So let me write out the three events that I saw. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is energy and energy transfer. As I was writing these out, I don't know if you noticed that, but I always wrote the object first. So I wrote lamp and then I said it's a burning lamp or it's a motor and it's a moving motor or it's a bulb and it's a light bulb. I'm talking about not only what is the matter, what is the object, but then I'm also talking about what is the energy that's causing change in that object. Now the next step, what I want to do is I want to go through and look at each of these steps along the way. So the burning lamp, what type of energy are we going to see in the burning lamp? Well, the big ones that I saw would be um, heat. I could feel that. And then another one that I would get is going to be light. As it starts moving then, if we're looking at the energy in the moving motor, I'm obviously going to have energy of motion. But another thing that I picked up would be energy of sound. 
So what I'm really trying to show is not only what's the object, but what's the energy within that object. And then the light bulb, if we were to figure out what is the energy there, well, there's light and there's probably also electricity. And so you can see I'm just defining what's the energy in each of these cases. And now I've shown the energy, but I really haven't shown energy transfer. Energy transfer is me showing how that energy moves from one location or another, an object to another object. And so that's what these arrows represent in the middle. So the heat and light in the burning lamp is transferred. So that arrow represents the flow of energy into the motion and the sound of the moving motor. And then if we look at the moving motor, what does that represent? Well, that energy is going to move from the moving motor into the electricity and the light of the bulb. And so on this model, what I've showed is not only what are the types shown, what are the types of energy, but I've also shown how the energy is transferred. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to have you do the same thing, but we're going to use a different object. Okay, for the next one, what we're going to look at are two blocks. So we have block A and then we have block B, and then they have sandpaper on the top of them. And so what I'm going to do is collect a little bit of data, and then we're going to rub those blocks together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub these blocks together, A and B. I'm just going to rub them against each other, and then I'm going to measure the temperature after the rubbing. Okay, so if we look at the evidence, uh, at the beginning they both had a temperature of around 21, 22 degrees Celsius. After rubbing, you can see that block A got quite a bit warmer. It's 30, almost 31 degrees Celsius, and then block B is going to be 25 degrees Celsius. So let me define the system. So the system are going to be the sandpaper blocks. And so what I'd love to have you do is use the thinking slides down below or a piece of paper. What I want you to do is show me what's changing in the system. What is the, what is the change? What's the energy before and after time in that system? And then show me where energy is transferred. Remember, I've got these different types of energy that are listed out, motion, electricity, light, sound, and heat. And you could use those in the energy. So pause the video, show me your thinking, and then come back and we'll see how our thinking compares. Okay, so the first thing I would write down is what's changing in the system. So the first thing I would have is the uh, blocks. Okay, so I've got blocks in both locations. First we have the rubbing of the blocks, they're rubbing on each other, and then we have the warming of the blocks. And so the next step is I have to write down what type of energy did we have here and what type of energy are we gonna have here. Okay, so when we're rubbing the blocks, the energy that I know would be the motion of the rubbing, and there's also sound that's coming off of that. And then if we're looking at the warming of the blocks, it's mostly going to be heat. So we're going to have heat energy when it's done. And so how is the energy transferred? Energy is going to be transferred in this direction. From the rubbing of the blocks, we had this motion and sound, to the heat of the blocks. Now in a future video, we're going to start to think about how do we quantify all of this and how do we make sure that the energy is conserved. But when you're just getting started, a way to start thinking about energy is first of all, write down what's changing in the system. Um, what is the energy at each of those different parts of the system? And then how is the energy transferred? So that's uh, thinking in energy level three, energy and energy transfer. Um, after watching this, you should be able to look at energy transfer in something like this hand cranked radio or in this uh, tea kettle that's boiling and moving a pinwheel. I'll put some thinking slides below so you can see that. So again, that's thinking in energy level three, energy and energy transfer, and I hope that was helpful.